I disagree with my response to the objection of CIP1. Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. Actually, I love the fact that the CIP process has rolled out. For those of you who don't know, um, when you want to evolve a cryptocurrency in a decentralized way, the standard mechanism of evolution of a cryptocurrency is called an improvement proposal. So you have Ethereum improvement proposals, Bitcoin improvement proposals, all kinds of these things. And we have our own, the Cardano improvement proposal. So we're just starting to roll this out slowly. It takes a little bit of time. We have to get the community used to it. And we have a lot of unique challenges in the Cardano ecosystem that Ethereum and Bitcoin do not have. The biggest of which is that we'd like to connect the CIP process directly to the formal specifications. So one of the big challenges that IOHK and the Cardano Foundation are working on right now and will not be finished until the end of the year is how do we find an easy way to hand those specifications over to a more independent neutral sort and link them to the evolution of the CIPs. Um, it's not easy to write a formal spec. And we wrote the formal specs with a very particular opinion on a reference implementation, i.e. the Haskell implementation. But if you want to go build your own Cardano node in C++ or Java or Python or JavaScript, which will happen as the ecosystem evolves and develops, we're already a little bit of a polyglot because we have a Rust node and a Haskell node. Uh, then you both have to have a common source of truth, and that's the specification. If the specifications are written in a way that are only useful for one type of implementation or one type of thought, uh, then that's counterproductive to diversity, development diversity. So we're going to have to reevaluate and think very carefully about how we handle formal methods so that it's amenable to third parties um, participating and being involved in that process. And it's something that we're actively discussing. And it's a lot of work, you know, and um, uh, the problem is the set of people who are really good at writing formal specs is quite small. There's only probably a few thousand people floating around the world that are really, truly good at this. And uh, a lot of them work for me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be a bit of a challenge. We have to perhaps reevaluate uh, better ways to do that. But we'll get there.